never get enough track oh! Oh! Don't commit treason. Hi, you've reached Stephen Selly. Sorry, I can't get to the phone right now. I'm either on the other line or I just plain old missed it. Either way, thank you for calling and leave me a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Laughing at the people who just kind of tuned in and be like, what, wait, what, did I, what, what's happening? If they're listening on audio, am I on the phone? <laughs> what the fuck? I also want to get to a place where voicemail doesn't matter because that's fucking annoying, huh? I actually love voicemails. I love leaving them. I love when people leave me them, but like... God, I want to be like, hi, you've reached Steven. You can hang up right now because I don't give a fuck what you have to say. I don't even want to be on my phone more than I have to. I don't want to be on apps. And the fact that you're calling me and I didn't answer probably because I didn't want to or I'm meditating, but leave me alone. I'll call you back. If you need me really badly, call my agent, which I don't have yet, but I'm working on it. I don't need one because I do everything, but maybe that's a weakness of mine. You can stop listening now, but if you want to leave me a cool message that'll make my day, I'll appreciate it either way. Shut the fuck up. (laughs) the fuck is going on happy tuesday yo first things first dropped the vlog yesterday isaiah went bonkers in the gym that boy that that dunk that 360 over bro was insane because he never tried it and then the fact you're gonna try to jump over someone and spin is insane and if you watch um his video i don't think i have all the attempts do i no i don't have the all the attempts he's got the attempts he went for yeah so check out isaiah's video he uh, morning vince i just got your text on my computer <laughs> you're listening um if he uh he he tried it once not even close then he tried it once and got his leg over without the ball and it was just like well i I said to myself he can get it because i was like well i've never and he already got it over then he like got one close to the rim then he back rim it was just crazy and he got it in like five six tries he's he's seriously incredible i'm still mind blown by that dunk so happy for the boy it was insane does he ever pass to me in game? No. Did I call for backboard in my thing when he tried a stupid windmill or between the legs and didn't come close in game? Yes. Do I think he could set me up and get me way better game dunks because he knows my plants and he knows the way I jump and he knows I'm looking for that and he knows I'm trying to make content? Yes. Does he help me out? No. Did I berate him for it? Yes. Was I kidding? Yes. Do I love him? Yes. Is his hair too red? <laughs> Does it matter when you're jumping to the sun? You can match it. Does it matter? What's good? Dunk Life Daily, episode 33. I looked over here for some reason, like I'm looking at the number. Is it 33? I think it's 33. Happy Tuesday. I try to do Topic Tuesday. I always think of it every Tuesday. I used to do it on my Instagram, Topic Tuesday, and come up with some stupid words that start with T. But I have the paradox of choice. I always think of the th- same five words. I think of telecom, the whale that passed away, sadly. I think of trachea. I think of turmoil. What else? I think of... Uh, those are like the four. I can't think of any others. I, ever, I think of T words to say I can't think. Think is another one, but I like the, the hard T sound. Bro, I, I literally can never think of more T words and I'm just going to give up because it's like, I think there's too many words, a paradox of choice. Anyway, what did I want to talk about today? Probably nothing. Tips. Tips Tuesday. I wanted to do, I thought of another thing for tips. I need your input to, to um, I was thinking maybe energy tips because I got <laughs> loads of it bro i was thinking maybe i'll do some tips but i already just learned from doing my five my top five dunk tips that i did not enjoy doing that <laughs> five days straight you know sometimes i just want to yell and practice my fake voicemails on here you know so uh, it's hard for me to do tips so maybe i'll make it in one video or something like that but i figured what's my strength hone in on it and I, when i here's here's a tip for you when you're trying to create something and you're like, uh, cause I'm, I find myself loving to create things, but when I find something that's very true to me, I get really excited by it. And yes, that happens too often where I have too many things I'm excited by. But for example, if I think of like, I want to make, um, a tutorial video, another T word of something that I know is important for you guys, like something, it's like a little bit of a, of a stressor because of how much work I have to put in to like edit it and screen record and put it all together and make it look nice. But when I think of like energy tips and just kind of yelling on here, it's like super exciting on a different level because it's just so easy for me and it's so natural and it's my strength. So like if I also thought of like writing a goddamn book, um, that's like I the, uh, the idea of it excites me. Like, oh, I'd have a book with my whole story because I actually started that hint, hint. It's in my latest program as a bonus. If you check it out, check out my two-week peak program, bro, if you want to fucking take off. Um, 
Yeah, there's a little preview of my my little book I'm writing. I don't know if it's considered a book, but it's just my story um, that I wanted to like get in writing. But it's that that's kind of tough for me to do. It's tough, tough Tuesday to fucking get that done because writing is not my strong suit. I don't like the going back over. It just seems tedious. But yelling and talking and doing this to other people might sound feel like tedious. Like I'm gonna have to get in front of a camera, bro. I don't need, dude. It's like a fucking technology. I love robots. I gotta tell them how much I love them because when they take over, they're gonna I'm gonna be on their side. But they're gonna see us as inefficient and just be like these people don't need to live, and then they'll take us out. But it's it's all good. They they want, they love the earth. We had it for so many years. They can have it. They can have it. You know. Um. Oh, let's let's look at some, one of my random topics. How about we do that? Random topics I wrote down on on my phone. Um, uh, whoa, this is weird. Um, oh, the other thing is that I slept really good. Check out my latest the latest vlog because after that day yesterday, oh, I got a new car yesterday. Oh my god, I don't want to keep. I want to keep it a surprise because I want to make a vlog about it, but I don't even know why. But. It was a stressful day, had to get the paperwork done, all that type of thing, running around all day, back and forth, a lot of driving. My head was actually like killing me because of stress and like so many different like things happening at once. And I was uh, trying to stay healthy too, but I didn't have enough time and I wanted to get my vlog up and I wanted to do this, so many things. And, um, but then I slept really good this tonight, like deeper than usual. So that's another thing I'm trying to work on is I, I've told you this on this podcast before is that my sleep is like my priority. I got like over seven hours, which is like the main goal. I try to get seven and a half and that's after wakefulness because this Fitbit tells me wakefulness. And I have like 45 minutes. I usually have over an hour of wakefulness, which is like how many times you wake up through the night, like your, your heartbeat or your conscious level, whatever it is. I don't know how the fuck it reads it, but I don't know why, but I slept a little deeper last night. I think I was crazy stressed and crazy exhausted, but it also could be because I had a little bit more carbs. I didn't have time to go to the grocery store. So I had to just had the like scavenged in my pantry and I had a lot of little things and I think maybe the car was might have made me sleep deeper I don't know but it's definitely something as a nutritionist I should know no I'm not certified yes I want to be though that's another thing I want to be is um certified in nutrition I want to get really good at that um to go on to my little dunk journey this is the I like to make this the place where I give all the details of my dunk journey because my dunk vlogs I'd like to keep it to the entertainment a little bit of tips here and there but details and what I'm doing I think are really helpful um I stopped dunking. Uh, Sunday, I dunked a ton, pushed it a lot. I felt really good when my hamstring was killing me. It was hesitant to jump. And so now I'm trying to focus on, I just did sleds yesterday pushing because I talked to the flexi bull over at ATG and he was mentioning just do high rep concentric and, um, just push, um, just try to avoid eccentric, which, cause I was doing RDLs, which is like you lean over and it hits the hamstring really hard, but that kind of, uh, inflames it, aggravates it, whatever. But those actually helped my range of motion at first, but now it's like to a point where it doesn't feel like it's helping anymore. I don't feel like it's making any progress. So I'm kind of stuck. That's why I need to switch things up. So I'm going to avoid eccentric and avoid jumping for like at least a week probably, and just do high rep concentric, like a sled low weight and just a lot of reps, just kind of like pump, pump, pump. It's almost like, to me, it seems like I'm very visual. So it's almost like the is there it's like you're kind of like knocking on it but like from the outside and just like chipping away at it like injecting little bits of stimulus to like over and over and over again instead of like one big stimulus that overloads it tiny little stimulus that in the right spots if that makes sense but i'm going to try to get super healthy because i felt so good yesterday i tried tree 60s i hit one that was like i tried to spin more than usual and i almost passed the rim and I dunked it with one hand not the best angle for my camera to tell but it felt really cool i'm excited to kind of punch a 360 instead of just get it i got a two hand three two hand 360 first try that one felt really good um my two hand dribble dunk suck um, one foot dunk first try. I think I told you this guy's just these things yesterday. Anyway, other than that, what else is going on? There was another effing thing I wanted to talk about. Did I write it down or not? Um, oh, this is the topic of the day. Are cartoons the best in English? Cause I was thinking there's other shows that kind of get popular in other countries, but is America and English have the best cinema? I'm a huge movie fan, TV show fan. Haven't watched too many movies recently. Spider-Man was better than I thought it would be the new one. It was cool. But like Rick and Morty with their, like the words they use and the storylines and the funny voices is like, you can't really, how do you translate that into another language? You know, not saying that like it wouldn't translate or, but like, I don't see any other cartoons that good or that get, getting that big in other countries. Maybe, maybe I just have no clue. Maybe I just so unaware. But that's what fascinates me too. Is like, is it, how much am I missing out there 
that's that good because that show is like one of my favorite things of all time. I've told you Always Sunny is the best comedy of all time. F The Office. It's a different show, I know, but it's just the level of it. I, I want Always Sunny to have that cult following that The Office does, if not bigger. I really, and I, it started here. You guys know it started here. Speaking of starting here is that I have this poster. One of you guys mentioned to leave this poster up as I, because I, t- I was going to get a Dunk Life Daily poster for the studio. And uh, I'm going to leave this one up for the OGs. I think that's pretty cool. So people that come join and be like, what the fuck? But you guys that are in the Ponzi scheme that are in my, my group, fucking know like what that is. And they'll be like, ah, yeah, I'm still spinning. Yeah, my brain is out there. Yeah. So are cartoons the best in, um, in America? Are there better shows? You guys let me know. People that are out of the country, do you have amazing cartoons or TV shows or movies that I should check that? That'll be mind blowing to me. Like Inception level and interstellar, always sunny, like the office, those type of like legendary historic in the cinema world um because i'm i'm I lo- like game of thrones i wasn't a fan of when i first started i gave it like a few tries I, I was younger and i really didn't like medieval stuff and i still haven't watched like any other medieval shows or movies that i've actually liked i don't know where i'm going with this but it after i watched it, i was like the story is so good the it felt historic for cinema because the way it was um the industry it felt historic for the industry because the way the story played out the characters you don't know who's gonna die who's gonna do what it felt like so fun to watch that it was like a new type of tv show and so long that it was just like god it was not it was not a tv show it was like a movie after movie it was like the longest movie of all time and that's it all right that's i don't know what the fuck so let me know what the fuck to watch all right on this day in history august 1 3 baby 1521 spanish conquistadors hernan cortez capture aztec emperor Quahetamoc in Tenochtitlan, marking the end of the Aztec Empire. I think that's in Mexico, right? Teno- I don't know, but that's cool. 1536, Buddhist monks from Kyoto's and Rocky Temple set fire to 21 Nichiren temples throughout the Kyoto in the Tenboka Hoka disturbance. No. 1642, Dutch astronomer Christian Huygens discovers Martian solar polar cap. Huh? What? Uh-oh, 1942, the Manhattan Project commences under the direction of Leslie Groves t- to deliver an atomic bomb. Oh, my God. Today in film, 1967, Bonnie and Clyde, directed by Arthur Penn and starring Warren Betty, is released. Cool. 2008 in sports, American super swimmer Michael Phelps wins three gold medals all in the record time in the one day, in the one day at the Beijing Olympics. In the one day. Who writes like that? 200 I am, 200 butterfly, 400 freestyle relay. Oh, today in music, 2013, Crash My Party, fourth studio album by Luke Bryan. I want to do more movies, more film stuff. Anything else in film? It's loading. Jackie Gleason, Tremaine Show premieres. Hmm, anything else cool? No. All right, well, that's it. And then now the Dunk Life of the Day, I'm checking out some comments from yesterday. I'll check the vlog and I'll check also the podcast because the vlog had a lot of views already. Let me see. Oh, did I hit 30K overnight? Let's see. I'm getting close. Oh, my God. 4,000 views? Oh, my God. Hold on. Uh, Sorry, sorry. How many subscribers am I at? Because I might have hit 30K overnight if I blew up a little bit. 29.8, boys. We're getting there. We're creeping. Um, All right. So from the podcast, from Mirror Monday's podcast, um, this one was really cool. Jonathan Bryant, Bryant, the best podcast ever. So close to dunking consistently. You helped me achieve my first dunk last year. It's insane how many first dunk messages I get. It's just mind blowing that so many people are dunking. Cause when I started, it was like, I couldn't find anybody. And now it's just, that's the best part of what I've done. What if I've created the fucking pyramid that I've created of all the Selly psychos, baby, we're all dunking. <laughs> Everybody coming to the gym, shocking people, these white little kids fucking showing up at 14, dunking on people. It's great. Um, let's see. Oh, I said I would pick some, a winner. I forgot. I said I would pick a winner. Um, let me put it in the, in the thing, in the, in the thing. There was one comment I really liked that was really good that I wanted to read. Uh, let's see. Oh, this is it. G Money said, you are pushing myself to do things I never wanted to do. And I want to thank you for this, man. I'm 5'8", 15 years old, touched the rim for the first time a couple of days ago. Thank you. That's the best. Push yourself to do what you can't, that you never thought was possible. That's how this whole entire channel started. Now I just want to pick a winner really quick. And then that's the end of the show because I'll, I'll read the vlog comments tomorrow or something. But um, 
I told somebody I would give them a free program. So that's how we're going to end it. We're going to end it on celebration. And I want you guys, if you don't win, to fucking celebrate that dude in the comments. Make that guy, whoever it is, hopefully it's not my mom because she commented, um, make that guy feel unbelievable. We got to gas your boys up. That's going to be a whole nother podcast. You're in the club. You're dancing. Your boy doesn't know how to dance. Gas his ass up. Just fucking say, oh, oh, damn, damn. And just act like he's killing it. People around be like, wait, what, am I missing something? And that's the psychosis we're talking about, okay? We're ending this one strong. It got a little wayward in the middle, but that's how we do it. Maybe the coffee's setting into my loins. How do I get this comment fucking comment chooser? I don't know how to do this comment picker random uh, YouTube winner. Come on, where's that? YouTube random comment picker. Here we go. I'm posting the, uh, the podcast. I told you I would. And YouTube comments. There's 29 unique comments. The raffle winner is, watch it be G Money, Gregory Saldanha. If you don't have a program yet, bro, I got you. I remember that name. I'm pretty sure I mentioned you on the podcast. Congrats, bro. Give me your email. Drop your email or I'll, I'll message you. I'll figure it out. Fucking DM me on Instagram. And we'll figure it out. Let's go. Tuesday, Topic Tuesday. Don't let the paradox of choice freeze you up. Keep that energy going. Look at the closest person near you and be like, that person's not in, not in this podcast. He doesn't know what the fuck's going on. He's got no awareness. You're starting off the day on a better foot than that fucking person. Fuck them. Fuck everyone. But also spread the love. Toodaloo. That's young life. Oh, that's the anthem right there. Tried to make an intro. Ended up making an anthem. Oh.